When I started in the show, they said to me, you're going to be doing eight shows a week. You might want to consider getting back in shape. I said, OK. I never was in shape, but I'll do the best I can. As I get older, I realize that it's important uh, for me to lose more weight, for me to be healthier, to learn how to eat healthy. I never learned how to eat healthy. And I knew I had a long journey ahead of me. When I lost 100 pounds and people said to me, wow, we can really see it in your face. <laughs> Thank you. How big was my head? <laughs> Apparently, I was the Kool-Aid man, and nobody ever said anything to me. Oh, yeah, Kool-Aid. That's John. His head's the size of a manhole cover. We don't talk about it, though. So I got a personal trainer. I remember the, my first day at the gym. I was nervous. People were staring at me, not because I was out of shape. I wore a black velour Sean John sweatsuit. I, I, look, I should have looked in the mirror. I look like a panda. People were fascinated. I didn't know you could get this close to them. One trainer didn't work out. I, I have to learn how to take instruction better. I really do. I'm working on it. One trainer said to me, give me a sit-up. I said, oh, nay, nay. I don't. I don't do ups. Sit-ups, push-ups, pull-ups. I do downs. <laughs> sit down, lay down. Blackjack, I'll double down. Give me a cheeseburger, I'll wolf it down. Put on a little music, I'll boogie down. That's right, I get down. Drop it like it's hot. But I don't do ups. Ups defy gravity. Gravity is a law. I obey the law. One trainer took me to a 60-minute workout, and he said, once you start, you get addicted. I don't think so. Pretty sure I can quit this anytime I want. I think I can quit the gym cold turkey, then eat the cold turkey. And one trainer would make me lift all these weights. He wanted to get results really fast. And that wasn't necessary. Just for me to be at the gym lifting weights is a miracle. He wanted to, like, have results in six weeks that I could see. That, so he would make things really heavy. I would lift something 15 times, really heavy, and, and, and he would put on more weight. No! I lifted it up. I did good. You should take weight off. I should get a cheese Danish for lifting that son of a bitch up 15 times. I, I had one trainer. He would say to me, how do you feel? All during the workout. How do you feel? Good. How do you feel? Good. Do more stuff. How do, how do you feel? Good. Good! How do you feel? I feel like God is punishing me, and if I'm a better person, he'll send an angel down with a chicken pot pie and a cupcake. Now, don't ask me again. I do this elliptical machine, and I can do like a half hour, 45 minutes, and that's a miracle, but I still don't think healthy. I see other people on the machines, and they're thinking healthy. They're thinking, after I do this, maybe I'll do free weights. I hope there's a Pilates class. I'm thinking, if I do 45 minutes and live, I'm going to have raviolis and a nap. So come on, John. Raviolis and a nap. Raviolis and a nap. Raviolis and a nap. One lady said to me, you're sweating, you're burning fat. Oh, good. I hope it's a control burn, because if this baby goes up all at once, there's going to be a mushroom cloud over this chip. <laughs> Some of my friends took me to a yoga class. The Bikram yoga, where they heat the room to like a thousand degrees. <laughs> and 
I started to smell dumplings and there was no Chinese <laughs> restaurant around. My pop-up timer is gonna go off in a minute. And I think yoga is a wonderful mind-body experience for people, I really do. But there's no beginner's yoga. Take your head and stick it in your ass. <laughs> I can't do that. They said, do what you can. I didn't know what that meant, so I left. <laughs> One trainer made me use the stability ball. That giant ball, I, I look like a baby holding it. <laughs> <laughs>